Good morning, everybody. This is Van Hargis with Van Hargis Horsemanship. And today I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, old complacency, maybe. <laughs> um, not really sure how, to, how to, to do today's topic on the ranch road, but uh, what I will say is this, things can happen in an instant, right? We all know that, but things can just really change in an instant, good or bad. But with horses, we've got to realize that uh, we've got to know that for a fact, that things can happen in an instant. We have to realize that horses are great big animals, and we, by comparison, are very small. Everything they do is bigger, stronger, faster. And for those of you who, who train horses, and quite frankly, that's everybody. If you own a horse and you do anything with it, you are... A horse trainer that doesn't mean you're a horse trainer by profession that shouldn't mean that you go around telling everybody or stamping on your business card that you're a horse trainer but you are a horse trainer anytime you're working with an animal somebody's training somebody and uh, we can learn from them but at the same time it's our job to train them how to adapt in our world the other thing to remember is that because we had that responsibility to ourselves as well as to our horses to remember that we're always in that training mode and we also if we, if we are always in that training mode we have to listen to our horses because out of all these thousands upon thousands of horses i've been fortunate enough to work with in my life um i can really only think of two that i could even remotely consider as being what some folks might refer to as counterfeit. In other words, they just weren't, you just, you just couldn't tell what they were gonna do. They were totally unpredictable. And honestly, I don't know, I've, uh, <laughs> I don't know if, if, uh, if it was just me at the time or if those horses were truly unpredictable. But nonetheless, out of all those over the years, just those two, 99.9% .9 of the time, horses are incredibly honest and they're gonna tell us exactly what they're about to do if we are in the moment if we are listening and our awareness is at its peak and we are paying very close attention and that's what i mean by complacency horses don't all of a sudden and for no reason do anything do things happen very suddenly at times absolutely but when those when those things do happen all of a sudden there's always a reason there's never not a reason so we have to be aware if we know our horses and we know ourselves then we have to be aware of what might be going on with this horse that might give it a reason to do something that is more reactive than responsive so we always have to be keenly aware the the least or the less we know about a horse or uh if a horse tells us that they are reactive then we need to be even more aware. Our, our awareness needs to be on its most heightened state so that whenever something goes awry, we can be ahead of it and we can take advantage of that situation to make it to be something positive as opposed to being victim of negative. So we, we I just really have to emphasize the importance of having a heightened awareness, no complacency, and always knowing that it's our responsibility to be that one step ahead of our horses. And as uh, Tom Dortz used to say a long time ago, just stay just this side of trouble. And uh, I, I can't imagine that if we really focused on staying just this one side of trouble, uh, on just this side of trouble, that we would get in too much trouble with our horses. I really wanna to emphasize to you folks that the, the importance of doing that and making that part of your habit is paramount. As Zig Ziglar once said, good habits are a means of making simple decisions good over and over again. That's a good habit. But sadly, the same thing can happen with a negative habit. So let's make good habits and let's make good decisions. Let's not take our horses for granted. And let's, uh, let's live in that moment. And remember, I mean, think about the, the title of my podcast, Ride Every Stride. That's about being in the moment. That's being aware of what's going on right now, every stride that you take. We've got to practice it, and the more you practice that, the more that becomes a good habit. Until next time, this is Van Hargis with Van Hargis Horsemanship.